In this video, we're going to study the example of MLE with normal distribution with mu equals zero. So we have n samples, and each of them are drawn from a normal distribution, mu equals zero. So mean mu is a mean here, and the sigma square is a variance. We'll use a variance, we'll use a theta as a variance. And then we'll have a IID assumption, which means that uh, the, the samples are independently drawn from the identically distributed distribution. First, we'll uh, set the row of x sub i given theta, and this follows a normal distribution with a mean equals zero. So, we can have one over square root of two two pi theta times exponent of negative x sub i squared over 2 theta. And we can set up a likelihood function of theta given d, which is a product of rho of x sub i given theta. Multiplying from over i equals one to n, and this is because the IID assumption, independence assumption. Now we can set up a log likelihood of theta given d, and this is a sum of natural log of rho x sub i given theta and we can rewrite this as a sum of natural log of 1 over square root 2 pi theta times exponent of negative x sub i squared over 2 theta And this can be uh, simplified as follows. Sum of natural log of 1 over square root of 2 pi theta minus x sub i squared over 2 theta is equal to negative n natural log of square root 2 pi theta. So this n factor is there because this first term is independent of i. So we can just simply simplify this uh, append. Uh, just put n in front of this uh, logarithm first term and it's minus 1 over 2 pi 2 theta summing over x sub i squared and finally um, this becomes negative n over 2 times natural log of 2 pi plus natural log of theta minus 1 over 2 theta times sum of x sub i squared. Now we can take the gradient of the log likelihood function. 
and set it to zero to find the extremum and if you take the derivative of log n a natural log of 2 pi uh, this becomes zero so we have negative n over 2 uh, 2 pi 2 theta plus 1 over 2 theta squared so negative factor cancels out times sum of x sub i squared equals 0 Now this comes negative n we we multiply uh both sides by uh theta squared and the first term becomes uh n theta over two plus one over two summing over x sub i squared. Then two cancels out denominators. Finally, we have maximum likelihood estimate of theta equals one over n times sum of x sub i squared. And this is a uh, MLE of a uh, variance. Maximum likelihood the estimate of a uh, variance. Again, the results are pretty. Thoughts is uh, pretty uh, intuitive.